Okay, I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration on how to use SQL Server with automatic updating in InfraWorks. So this model was generated from the model builder. As you can see, it brought in some of the buildings here. Uh, I've actually went to Harris County Appraisal District and downloaded the uh, uh, building pads. So I'm going to bring the building pads in here from SQL Server Database. So I've got a virtual machine run off of a co-worker's machine that's no longer with us. Uh, so first off, let me fire up SQL Server here. And I'm going to connect to my SQL Server database. And it is now connected. So I can minimize that. I'll start a new drawing. Now I'm working off the server here on a remote desktop. So I'm just going to show you. I'll connect to a SQL Server Spatial Connection. So I type in the service name, which is basically the server name. Hit login. Ask for username and password. Once there, I'll pick the data store. I'll pick Jeff's data store and hit connect. And I want to grab the buildings. Notice that the coordinate system is already set inside this data store, so I don't have to worry about any type of coordinate system. So I'll click Add Map. And there are my building pads. All right. So back over in uh, InfoWorks. And data sources and this button here a lot of people kind of tend to ignore this is where you connect to your SQL Server Spatial so here type in the same service name username and password hit login and pick your data store and click OK and it's going to ask you what you want to connect to through that data store. So we'll exclude all and choose buildings. And click OK. Now if I come in here to configure it, I'm actually going to use buildings. Alright. And if you look at the geolocation, it's already set. So I'll go ahead and hit close and refresh. And there you see it populates with the buildings in that area. Okay. Now I've got a script that Wes Newman has written on uh, randomizing building facades and building heights. So I'm going to run that real quick. Basically just copy it from your notepad. And in scripts you hit edit delete that and paste that script in there hit close and refresh and you'll see it actually gives random building heights random facades and random roof materials and pitches okay so that's not it the cool part is we'll focus on this l-shaped building here if we go back into remote desktop it takes a second to catch up and we zoom into that L-shaped building we're going to reshape this building so let's say this guy's over here working off of his uh, SQL Server database and he's putting in utilities or what have you maybe even building pads like so and he's adjusting this building all he's going to do and it's going to be a little cattywampus but that's okay so once he does that he hits check in under the feature edit tab so I'm still over here working and I come up here and on my connection for my SQL server I hit refresh There you can see it updated that building. 
just like that. Didn't have to do a thing. Okay, so I'll show you that one more time. Remote desktop. And then we'll, again, it takes a second to catch up. We'll make this an L-shaped building again. Ah, come on. Now, every time you hit refresh in InfoWorks, it reruns that script. That's why it re-randomized the uh, facades and building heights. So we'll stretch this bad boy all the way over here this time. Those desktops a little bit choppy, so bear with me. So there we have an L-shaped building again. I hit check in. Go back over into InfoWorks. Hit the refresh button. Voila. There's the updated building.